So today I'm going to be talking about um, how I changed my life, uh, my career to marketing and how you can too. I'll be sharing the process, um, the lessons learned and how to make an impact uh, using my example from when I moved from IT to marketing. Hopefully this story can be of use to people out there who just need to find an answer, right? And so hopefully they can find the answer from this story somewhere and find some clarity somewhere and uh, how to actually make that change or make that transition from one career to another, especially if you've been thinking or sitting about it for, on it for a long time. Um, so hopefully this example can help, right? And help you make that decision. This is, this is a broad problem, right? A lot of people always think about changing careers because either they have made the wrong decision, either they have found an interest elsewhere, or simply because their profession that they chose isn't exactly what it was, right? Back in the day, or it's, it's no longer the same. It doesn't feel the same. It feels different. The career change statistics actually should say that an average person um, will change their careers for around five to seven times uh, during their their working life right which is which is incredible that means five to the average person would move around five to seven times you know just because they didn't know what career they want to get into they find it uncomfortable they wanted to make a change they weren't enjoying it and almost everywhere uh, there'll be different people who have different circumstances uh, where they're involved in something and they they want to actually change something right but they just don't know how to they want to change careers they want to change something in their business or they want to implement something new or, or or change something with what they're currently working on in with a project either because they're frustrated or simply because it's brand new right you're making a transition from something that's always almost the status quo and um and you want to try out something new right something that's not normal and so they can hopefully use the principles from my example and try to make that change. Um, and you need to understand that there are loads of other people doing this out there. It's not just you. So if you are one of those people who wants to change something in your life, then, you know, it is possible. It's not impossible. And I'm this hopefully the experience will, will show you, you know, that it's not impossible. So anyway, let's get into it. So what was my process? Well, I like computers. Um, for those of you that um, that don't know already, I was an ex-IT guy. So I went from being an IT and desktop analyst to be, being a tech consultant, um, and now um, and now I'm a digital marketer. So I wanted to always get into technical consultancy, sort of the IT the IT sphere and supporting tech, uh, technology that sort of thing. Or um, well, and from the end of that, also leading into project management going forward, right? Uh, and that was that was the dream um, or, or goal or goal whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. I, I just know I just know I like computers, right? Um, I spent most of my time in school playing football at the park as well, um, and uh, and just hanging out with friends and obviously trying to study. Um, but it was one of those things that you wouldn't really give it much thought to. You wouldn't go and actually go and you wouldn't go and explore different areas or. Or even you won't have actually that experience you get told early on to go and pick a few parts pick a few subjects and then that's it you're on your way and you have to go and do that right um for me though it, it was relatively smooth so right right up until going to, to uni um, i did computer science so first and second year went by and third year was where i had to get a placement right and i it was, the process for me was pretty smooth i was good at, i was good at it so um I managed to get my placement job, where I spent, my, uh, you know, where I spent my time working as an IT analyst for the year and a bit. Um, and then after graduating, I was straight away I was on the path um, to being a support analyst and that tech consultant. So I, I was good, right? I was I was good, and things were going pretty well until they weren't. There was doubt, there was void, and something was just missing, you know. Um, on top of that. Me and an ex-girlfriend had decided to go our own ways. Um, so, so which is which was for the best and um, and kind of a driver uh, for me and for the things that are to come, right? For me. Um, anyway, that's a long story and something that we can dive into another time. So we're not going to talk about that right now. But um, the role the role that I was in was great when I was a tech consultant. The role was great. The company was great. The people were great. Uh, the money was great. It was one of those, you know, stereotypically 
you're gonna go and have your job especially being from an indian family you're gonna go get your job and then you're just gonna like continue doing that like consistently right anyway the role got the role got repetitive it felt like a chore um i asked myself what is going on you know um is this it is this really me so i started to reflect um reflection is actually a, a key skill and i'm going to go into why so why is reflection important you know you won't know till you try something so during those times and probably probably still <laughs> this is still a thing in all honesty is it's quite prestigious for an indian um to get to indian person to go or indian families to go and say you know you should go get a masters or you should go get a phd um it's that and and it, it almost seems prestigious right it almost seems it's got that vanity feel to it if you know what i mean and i thought to myself i always wanted to to some extent i guess that rubbed off on me i did want to but i wasn't sure what in right and um, i didn't want another masters in a tech degree because um, so when i say a tech degree is in, in in specifically it related or to have a masters in computer science simply because i think i was just done right um i wouldn't enjoy it i just i knew it straight away because i'd already seen where he felt like what it was like in that first role where it got repetitive i was like and to be honest a lot of the job spec specs out there were also quite similar and some said don't do it right i i thought had i had i had a few conversations with people and some said just don't do it um you know i i don't see i don't i don't master just doesn't have a value in it anymore or anything like that but i didn't listen reason why is because their circumstance wasn't mine right um i was in a completely different headspace i was a, i was a completely different person um and it's not their lives right it's my life um i wanted to win they didn't have the full picture that i had i wanted i wanted something complimentary something creative i wanted to always bridge the gap between um technology and 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 marketing and and the reason why i say marketing specifically and how it just came out of the blue just now is um it's out is actually was a build up so i got a little taste of it in uni and it was in a marketing module and it was about marketing a tech product little did i know that that taste that i've got had lingered over time right stuck with me subconsciously so upon reflection you know the reflection helped me understand that that taste in marketing uh, i basically looked back through to the last time i actually had i had a certain feeling or a certain thought towards something in a very i guess something that felt unique right it was exciting right i got i remember having to get the chance to discuss features benefits uvps so uh, u- unique value propositions um but actually that should be in reverse so hint um for those of you that market out there um it should be in reverse when you're talking about it okay so anyway anyway um i felt back then that it would help me get into it but i guess i i felt a little guilty because i had already come this way i was already already like um, yeah i was already like going through my uni years during my undergrad and um i did think about it back then but you can't just switch course it's not just something you can do you pay money for a course there's there's a lot of things there's a lot of factors involved with that but i thought i'd write it through right and i thought okay i'm going to forget about it just think about it later or something like that and i kept it in my mind over time but i remember i was talking about it in conversations like it would be cool to do marketing uh marketing's actually pretty cool i i i'd be interested in doing marketing right like it just kept coming up i felt guilty even then you know when i was working when i was already six, like when i was doing well in in the it in the it field and um, i felt guilty then um about what i worked hard to do and what i worked hard to achieve was i just throwing it away did i have it too good and or good enough why do i want to leave right like why do i want to put this aside that so that guilt took over me then right and i just didn't know what to do there was a, there was a lot of confusion so how did i overcome guilt and i think that this is something that a lot of people will actually want to do right i was asking myself how do i get to do what i want how do i take control this is this is this is probably underplayed right by a lot of people but research and planning is super important so you know if you're going to make that change i know i did so um when i wanted to make that change first i reflected looked at all the experiences i went back in time literally to go and find out exactly what i enjoyed see what i had that emotional tie in with 
and I found out that marketing was the way to go, then to overcome that sense of guilt because I was going to leave behind what I actually created uh, or I was thinking about leaving behind what I created, I had to, you know, I had to do something. Right? I had to break through, but I was losing control. So I started to research into it more and more. And um, by looking deeper into the field and seeing what it's like, seeing what the job role is like, and it really did sound like something I wanted to do, like something I could do, something, I don't, I don't know, I just got, I got excited thinking about it, right? I asked myself, when was the last time I actually did something for myself specifically, right? And I think one of the crazy thing is, is that when I was growing up, although I was doing my own thing, um, like playing football and and, and and just just sports and trying to get you know trying to chill out with friends and whatnot playing video games and I although I liked computers I remember some of it spurred on from what family conversations are you know like um, when your family members ask you what do you want to be and you say well I want to be uh, I don't know where I want to be right I've not thought about it enough and you're super young and they'd ask you but then they ask you the certain they ask you more specifically do you want to be a doctor do you want to be an engineer what type of engineer if you pick engineer i remember i picked engineer um do you want to be a software or hardware engineer so i said software engineer and that's what got me into the computer science field i remember i just it just stuck with me it was almost like it got wired through repetition into my brain and it just it just stuck with me i mean granted i actually did like it so so i guess there was no harm there anyway I took the first step um, and I wanted to confirm my liking to marketing. So I thought I'd get on a short course uh, where I'll get like a, a diploma and I absolutely smashed it. And most importantly, I enjoyed it, right? Uh, I remember scoring, I think I nearly got 100%. I think I got like 90, I think I got 98% or something stupid. Things started to move, right? But I still felt guilty, even though I'd researched and, and I'm trying to still confirm that I, and I, and I, that I liked it, right? So I had the feeling um, of being guilty still of leaving something behind. So I disrupted my routine to get a new perspective, right? I started getting to the gym properly. I started working out loads and trying to hit new targets. I said, I'll stay busy. I'll keep researching. And I kept playing with the idea, right? That was, was probably one of, the, one of the issues there, right? I just said to myself one day, I chose to apply. And when I applied, I was like, let's see what happens. If I get in, I'll just make a decision later. You can always get in and then just turn them down after, right? So I wanted to accomplish something greater. And so I remember back then I was having a conversation with a friend when we met up and we just started talking about bucket lists and Kilimanjaro came up on our bucket list and it sort of synced up. So he wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. And uh, we both found, because we both wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, let's go, let's do it, right? So we did that. <laughs> anyway, from, from that conversation, we got on a couple of calls, we started planning it, we, we literally booked it, and then I started training for it. I remember it was just, so it was a few friends of us that booked it, and then we booked like a trip on the way back to Dubai. It was, it was, it was amazing. You know, the, the trip itself was awesome, right? And on top of that, we wanted to all raise money for charity. So uh, raising over, I think 4,500, yeah, 4,500 pounds. For a charity that was fen a phenomenal effort as well so it was I, I think it was just an incredible experience as silly as this sounds i treated getting to the summit of kilimanjaro as you know as 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 a point or, or as a as a condition as to whether i should accept the masters or not so i started to play like associate one risk with 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 another right so um and and i remember i was actually because i was still I just graduated you just go into the working world. So you actually tend to be kind of risk averse, or well, I was anyway. Um, and so I needed to build momentum. So to do that, I set this condition. 